What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're gonna to be talking about how we made these videos. We are out here at six in the morning. I'm so sweaty, like literally so, so sweaty. Into a professional documentary. And how you guys can too. Anyway, let's jump in here because screw the intros. So my friend Sham and I, we made our first mini documentary together in Pakistan. Waiting to shoot an interview. And we wanted to attempt this too because, you know, both of us have very different standpoints. Sham's forte is in visuals and actual filmmaking, and mine is in creative storytelling. So the problem we faced was we didn't really know where to find your story. So there was a guy who was in Islamabad training young people to do karate, which is a super cool story if you hear about it. But we went there and the problem was is there wasn't very many good visuals, and that was a huge issue. For us, even though his story was strong, we didn't have the visuals. The less we shoot actually in the karate place, uh, the better, because that just that's just not gonna work. But yeah, don't don't stress too much about the dojo as well. Um, it was our first kind of idea, um, and let's not settle on that, right? We went back to the drawing board and we thought about what kinds of things have really, really good visuals. So you know how we're kind of looking for people that, that inspire or whatever? What if we went to the Gujarat, found some Gujarati coaches who inspire kids because they start wrestling young? Well, and you know I spoke to someone in Naran who's from Gujarat and has loads of friends that do kabaddi, like they play professionally and whatnot. So we could potentially get content there. We started asking around and it was a whole process of who knows who knows who knows who. And we met this guy named Mr. Rana. And Mr. Rana is the secretary general of the Kabaddi Association. I'm you know, headed to go meet the, the Kabaddi head of the president or whatever. So hopefully he can give us some information about whatever. But he's basically, I think, as far as everybody's saying, everything is in Gujarat, which is, which is pretty good. And originally, I didn't want to do a story about him. I wanted to do a story about one of the coaches because that is more striking than just a guy who does, you know, paperwork and stuff. But the more we talk to him, the more we realize that, you know, he is the hero of this story. So this is what the final story actually looks like. And afterwards, we want to show you the technical side of what we put into it to really make this happen. So this is me at 6 o'clock. That is not at 6 o'clock. <laughs> Dust, sweat. Pain, victory. This is Kabaddi. इससे पहले जब वो सेक्टी जनरल नहीं थे तो उस वक्त तो इतने टूर्नामेंट ही नहीं होते थे शहर वाले लड़के जो है वो इसमें बिल्कुल इंटरेस्ट नहीं उनको पता नहीं था कबड्डी क्या चीज़ है कबड्डी के सिलसिले में मैंने आज तक कोई ऐसा बंदा नहीं देखा माय नेम इज मोहम्मद सरवर राना आई प्ले कबड्डी सिंस नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट रिप्रजेंट नेवी नाइनटीन ईयर्स एंड आई वॉज कैप्टन ऑफ दैट टीम कबड्डी में वैसे तो चार खिलाड़ी खड़े होते हैं एक ने टच करना होता है बाकी टीम कितनी भी हो इससे नहीं मतलब दस ग्यारह ये नहीं जितनी भी हो टीम बस चार आगे खड़े होंगे एक ने टच लगा के फिर इस लाइन में आना है तो पॉइंट उसका यू सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस गेम देर इज नो इक्विपमेंट इट्स मीन इट इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट टीम गेम The challenge before war. Anybody come up and fight with me? It's been key booty. Last month, we have won Punjab Championship in Bawalnagar. We have participated in it, and first time, Gujranwal Division has won second position. We have participated in any tournament. We have won our medal. We have not been trained. We have coached. We have been working hard. We have won this award. We have won it. वो सिखा रहे हैं तो हम ऊपर जा रहे हैं। This game has very big thrill and strength, speed, reflexes, brain, skill, and stamina.
But Kabaddi faces a big problem. It's extremely difficult for players to cultivate the skills of the game without a proper support system. Kabaddi ke khiladi banne ke liye bahut paise ki zarurat hai, achhi khuraak, yani gosht khane hai, doodh peena hai. Ya ye log normal hai, inke paas itne paise nahi hai. And while Mr. Rana doesn't look like a legend at first glance, he has been the glue that holds the pieces together. He's trained the coaches that built great athletes, developed programs which nurtured dream teams, and elevated Pakistani Kabaddi to the world stage. It's through his spirit that great players form powerful teams, which unify this great traditional game. But just like Kabaddi is a team sport on the field, there must be a team effort from the supporters on the sidelines. We must provide him at least 30 to 40 matches at provincial level and national levels. To prove his worth, then we hold the trials and send our team like Asian Cups and uh, after a very, very hard work. Chote chote tournament, jahan bhi ho, unko do, teen, char so, kilometer daily safar karna pade, wo khud gaadi chala kar jate ho, aur udar ja kar wo, मैच देखते हैं और पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं एप्रिशिएट करते हैं उनको तो ये ये क्वालिटी बहुत कम है हालांकि उनकी एज के लिहाज से इतना सफर आसान नहीं है जितनी उनकी एज है लेकिन वो हर वक्त तैयार होते हैं कहीं से भी कॉल आती है ही विल बी अवेलेबल देयर गवर्नमेंट को चाहिए कि जैसे वो क्रिकेट को सपोर्ट करते हैं वैसे कबड्डी को करें तो इंशाल्लाह हम ऊपर लेके जाएंगे वी आर वर्किंग टुगेदर एंड स्ट्राइविंग हार्ड टू डेवलप दिस गेम at international level and hopefully Kabaddi will enter in Olympic inshallah. It is our goal. Now the whole part of this process was really technically challenging because I first had to go to Peshawar with Mr. Rana. And afterwards, Sham and I both came to Islamabad to meet with Mr. Rana and shoot his interview. And then after that, we both went to Gujarat to shoot some training. And afterwards, I came back to Islamabad to shoot a Kabaddi tournament. But that wasn't even the hardest part, I think, for us. The hardest part was bringing in all of the footage that we have, sitting down, and trying to bring a story out of it. So the way we decided to do it was break it up into two parts. And because Sham is good with the visuals, he's going to do that. And because I'm good with the storytelling, I was going to do that. I first started by going through hours and hours and hours of interviews, trying to figure out where the story was. It's super important to let the story unfold as opposed to make the story fit your needs. With maybe with short films and maybe with YouTube, you can do that, but not with documentary because we're trying to document what is actually going on and share that with the world. And originally the idea was to make a, this great big story about Rana, but as we saw the progression of people's interviews, we noticed that it's less about Rana and more about Kabaddi as a sport that needs support from a lot of different people. And then we saw how Mr. Rana fit into the equation because he is the driving force that's giving Kabaddi the huge support that it needs. I took all of the interviews and put them into uh, Premiere. And then I color coded them according to who they were. So Mr. Rana got a certain color, this guy got a color, this guy got a color. That way, whenever I'm starting to organize, I can tell, oh, this guy's talking here, he's also talking here, he's also talking here. And that helps by not bunching up the same person back to back to back to back. And then I started looking for individual things. What sort of things do people say that really grab attention? And then afterwards, I moved on to like, what sort of things could be my intro? My name is Muhammad Sarwar Rana. I play Kabaddi since 1978. And then who's talking about the problems of Kabaddi? And it's literally pieces of a puzzle, putting this thing in this place, this thing in this place, this thing in this place. And that helps a ton, an absolute ton. Find people outside of your project, find people in your project, and have them giving you the harshest feedback possible. I feel that you should have been a bit louder or like more excited before saying this is Kabaddi. Like sometimes through my lens, I can't see, oh, there's a huge block of misinformation here or this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. So you have to have outside eyes that really take a look at your projects. So important points to realize, color coordinate your interviews, pick out the important parts of the interviews, put them in your timeline and then start working on the story. Don't make the story fit what you think the story is going to be. Let the story unfold and then tell it that way. So if you like the video, use our Diverse Pakistan underneath 
in the comments below. It really, really helps us get this video out so more people can see it. That would be super helpful for us. Um, and then also, if you have any questions, please contact both Sham and I on Instagram. We're super active there. And we'd love to talk about anything that, well, anything and everything. And uh, that's all for this time.